Hello, everyone, and welcome back. This is part two of my laminate series where we opened up my new laminator and used it and learned how to use it. Now, what I'm going to do is start cutting these out and carry on with our project. Stick around. loves i'm back all protected for doing our resin and here we go i've mixed equal parts of a and b the epoxy resin and the hardener now i'm going to stir this for five minutes here's our bookmarks and here are the stickers that i laminated can you figure what I'm going to do with them? At least one thing. There's going to be more. <laughs> so stand by. We'll get this all mixed up and I'll be right back. Hello, loves. We're back. You have to forgive my voice because I am wearing the mask. Now we must put on our gloves. Remember, using resin, be safe or be sorry. So we don't want to mess around. It's great and stuff when it's dried, but... When it's wet, it's got gases and all kinds of stuff. So we make sure we're protected. I got the window open in the room as well. Okay, stir this for five minutes. It's clear now. I like using these little ones. They're easier for me to navigate. And as you can see, I have cut all the laminated stickers out. And I'm going to make some bookmarks. I'm going to put those in there and maybe add a few extra little embellishments. So to begin, got to take them out because we we'll have to put a little bit down beforehand before we get anywhere. Okay. So I'm going to pour some resin in there and then I'm going to put a little layer on the bottom of each one of these where the sticker is going to go going to need a little bit more Then we'll place the sticker or the, you know, laminate sticker on. Okay. So let's move this around a little. Get it in the cracks. Anything that you get over the edges you'll be able to trim off after, so it's okay. But I just want to put a little barrier down before I put the rest of the resin over top of the stickers. So here we are. Okay. So let's get our stickers in there. And we can push them down in there because they've already be, been pre-fitted to make sure that they fit. <laughs> I love some of these quotes. So much fun. Remember, I have an Etsy store and it's down below in the information if you want to help support me in this channel and our work please go ahead and order something or to go take a look as I said I love doing all this different kind of art in between 
writing my books and striker will be out in the next couple weeks and today is may 14th i believe so in the next couple weeks striker will be out for mtasia what i'm doing here is i'm pushing making sure i try to get all the air bubbles out and that it's touching now you see how the laminate allows the sticker not to get ruined where we laminated it. So that's why we laminated it. Well, at least one of the reasons. We've got another project coming up too. And there we go. Okay, now we're going to fill up the top. Yeah. The only problem, I've got to get bigger little cups so that I'm not always and forever filling them up. <laughs> ah. I so love how my art, nail art, mixes with the epoxy resin art. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to use some of the nail art charms in these bookmarks. So you'll see how they relate to each other over and over again. It's wonderful how they can be interchanged and used together. Okay, let's get a little toothpicky thing and move it around so it's around the the, the hole for the bookmark. Mm -hmm. I'll add some more as well once I make sure we have what we have here. Make sure and take your time, be patient. And get all the little pieces and parts. Now, let's see. That's my here. These definitely were much bigger, even though they're not very deep. 
the size of them makes it use a lot of resin a lot of resin so but surprise that was I believe 80 milliliters of resin Now, I'm new at this, so I try to get all the bubbles as much as I can, but there's always a chance, so I go over it with a lighter and pop the bubbles after. There we go. Okay, now we're going to take a lighter and just run the flame over it carefully. Pop any bubbles that have floated to the surface. There we go. And I'll be right back and we'll add a few more decorations. Okay, guys, we're back. And I'm going to use some of my nail charms for decoration on these. And then you'll notice I put on these because I'm going to use this hand to put them in and then this hand to get them out of the boxes because I don't want to get them sticky inside the boxes. So let's see, what should we put? We have all kinds of wonderful things. I think first we should put stars in this fairy tale one. I think that would look cute. So let's go ahead and put some stars in. Get a few more out. Where are they? There they are. There we are. Oh, there's a butterfly in there too. Hmm. There's a couple stars there. There. Now, don't worry. We can move them after. <laughs> Use our little toothpick. And move them around to where you want them to be before the resin hardens. Okay, and that looks nice. And now I have this butterfly one that I want to put over here with the kitty. So. Let's do that. There we go. So it looks like he's looking at the kitty. <laughs> you know, use your imagination. What else do we have? Hmm. Ooh. Let's use these moons. These moons on this one because it looks like the kitty is falling asleep. We'll use that. It's basically just whatever you want to do. Make it the way you want to see it. Whatever you feel looks good, looks good. This is your art. You do it your way. There's this. And then we put these ones in under the resin too and put them where we want them to be. 
There we go. Okay, next. Hmm. Let's do... Hmm. The Enemies to Lovers one. Let's see. What should we put there? I think we'll put these lips. I have lips. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Does that that seems appropriate? I'll move them around with the um toothpick in just a moment. Where'd that one go? Is it stuck to me? No? Okay. So now we'll move them around to make sure they're in the spots that we like. And that they're under. There we go. Maybe a couple more here. This is, don't touch your, don't let the resin touch your skin. There we go. And what do we have left? We have these books on the end. Oh goodness, what? Sorry guys, my battery uh, decided to cut out. So I finished filling the um, bookmarks and now we have to leave them to dry because it's not fast drying epoxy or UV resin. Um, it'll take 12 to 24 hours. So I'll get back to you. Okay, here we go, guys. Yay. It's the next day. And these are my bookmarks. Ah, they turned out so nice. I love that. Oh, let's take one out and see. I have a new rig coming today for my camera, so hopefully we won't have to deal with him anymore. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, it turned out great. Turned out wonderful. Wow. They're still a little bendy, so they still need more drying, but... I like them. This was a great idea. Anyway, I thought I'd share this with you. It's the next day. And I'm sure you wanted to see how they all came out. And uh, so did I, honestly. Oh my goodness, look at this one. Oh, that's so cute. Look at the butterfly. The flowers are a little big, so they came above. I don't think that's a big deal. They're not that far above. Anyway, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Show me your art, guys. Show me your stuff. Show me your bookmarks. Uh, I'd love to see them. We'll talk soon, and I hope you're all being kind to each other. Bye, guys.